What's up all, Jake's Garage here. Today's project. Um, this would be my cutout. It's a DMH. Uh, it's one of the nicer ones. I, I think after some research, I uh, believe it was the best brand for me. Um, it's not working. So if your cutout stops working, first thing you wanna do is pull it off, try to clean it up a little bit. You know, this cleaned up pretty good for being under the car for since 2006. Um, then what you want to do is get yourself a 12 volt power supply. I've got a vintage Cobra, which you probably can't see, Cobra regulated power pack. I think it puts out three amps before it pops the little breaker. Uh, anyways, you can power up your cutout and uh, use it for testing so you can see what mine's doing. That's actually the furthest it's opened up in a while. Um, I wasn't getting it that far open before, but you can obviously see that it's not carbon buildup stopping it. Um, you can also see that for the range that it has, it works pretty good still. So what I'm going to do is try to work a little bit of lube down in there and see if I can't get it free. Uh, I'm very tempted to crack the case open and see what's in there, but I kind of want to try to get it to work without doing that first. Um, just because I don't, I don't want to get into that. But if I don't get it to work. I will continue this video with a disassembly of this. So I'm going to go spray it now and see what happens. Okay, so we just sprayed it and now I'm going to see if it did anything. Work it back and forth a couple times. Yeah, not looking good. Okay, well, who wants to see what the inside of a DMH cutout looks like? Okay, so here's the plate, and I will now be able to clean this up much better now that it's off. It's very nice. They did a good job machining this and designing this. I should be able to move this freely. Ah, something's sticking in here. Okay, there's my problem. Okay, got it works. Looks like it is a T20. Now how easy do you think these are gonna to be to get apart? Actually not bad. I'm having some pretty decent luck with this. There you go. I thought for sure, uh, any of you that have taken apart a carburetor or a throttle body knows that they usually peen the ends of those, but I guess since this isn't on intake and there's no danger of the screws getting sucked in, there's no point. It's just hard to tell sometimes how far people are gonna go when they're building something. Now the real trick is, can I get this blade out without it being at a full 90 degrees open? There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now, I'm going to assume that this is just sitting in there. So I ought to be able to get that out. Feels really nasty in there. Really nasty. So what I'm afraid of now is trying to slide that out. I might not be able to with that. I might need to use a wire brush or something on there. To clean that off. Try the least least intrusive. Well, as you can tell, I got this thing pretty much torn apart, and I found the problem. Um, <clears throat> once I pulled this shaft out of here, the main shaft, I immediately had, I was greeted with a bunch of teeny tiny, uh, roller bearings and you can kind of hear, I think <laughs> that one's would probably fall apart if I, if I removed that collar. <clears throat> so what you're not going to be able to see is down in that down in that side actually you might be able to see if I pop this out uh, down in that side uh, nah you're not going to be able to see anyway you can take my word for it down there that bearing is, is completely shot it's rusted and falling apart and it's missing I mean, it's missing the rollers or some of the rollers are seized together um, and as you could tell this one was pretty bad too so we're done <laughs> uh, I called um, DMH and spoke to a to a gentleman there and um, he explained to me that they were putting stainless bearings in and apparently their supplier switched to a, like a Chinese brand bearing and they were rusting. So they solved the problem by switching the uh, type of bearing that they put in there. So he said, send it in and he would take a look at it. I don't know if they're going to charge me. I don't know. I would, I mean, I, I'm perfectly fine paying them something for this. Uh, definitely don't want to have to buy a new cutout. So I'm hoping that they'll, uh, they'll work with me and get this back together and keep in mind guys that this has been on this car well this has been on the, the black car since 2006 so there's a lot and i use this thing every time i drive the car i bet there's not there's barely a time i drive it that i don't at least crack it open i mean you look at my videos there's <laughs> a lot of videos with this thing open so you know i cleaned it up a little bit i cleaned the carbon off of the pieces just to i don't know just to help the guy out he's not looking at you know trying to look at my all carboned up garbage here he might clean it up further i don't know but i will continue the video when i get it back and let you guys uh know how i made out i expect nothing but the best from this company because they seem to be great and a lot of people have good things to say about their customer service so far so good with that so we'll pick the video up when i get this back i'll let you know how i made out Real quick before I box this up, I, I loosely bolted it together just to make it harder for whoever I send it with to lose the parts. Just to show you that really the only problem with it was the stuck shaft. Still operates perfectly. Now, I mean, maybe I could just put it back together like that, but 
I think what happened was those needles came out and just kind of jammed up the works. But we're going to see what DMH does about it, see what they say, because I'd rather have bearings in there. Okay, it's been a few weeks or longer. <laughs> um, I finally got my cutout back from uh, DMH. Um, I, I'm going to say right off the bat that their customer service was great. I believe uh, in the previous part I, I mentioned I called and they said send it in. I sent it in. I waited a little bit. Uh, didn't you know? Didn't hear anything, and so I just decided to call. And I don't like bugging vendors, but. Uh, I called and just kind of said, hey, did it show up? I wanted to make sure you got it. The first time I called, he said, okay, it's sitting over there. I'll get on it. After a little while longer, I still hadn't heard anything. So I called and um, the guy said, okay, I'm sorry. You know, uh, for whatever reason, it's still sitting here. He says, I'll work on it right now and see what we can do with it. Um, and he was true to his word on that. I got this. Uh, a few days later so I did take a peek at it but uh, you guys can check it out with me here um, I'm not a hundred first of all they gave me a new gasket which is nice even though I went and bought new ones um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what happened here but this surely looks like a brand new cutout I, I I guess this part, the actual flange, looks like it might have been used at one point, but I mean, I can definitely see some marks. I'm not sure how they clean it. Whatever they did, I mean, it's spotless. Um, I don't remember there being, uh, you know, um, stamp marks on the aluminum there. These screws look like they've never been out. Uh, this, this back part is, uh, it looks a little different and... I mean, look how clean it is. This looks brand new. The wire is obviously brand new because mine was uh, had oil on it and it wasn't perfectly straight like that. Um, so I, I'm not 100% sure. This looks like it's either a new one or they had another one in house that they rebuilt and they just gave you know gave it to me. But I definitely don't think this is the one I sent in, which I'm perfectly fine with. Um, so there you have it. Uh, that is fantastic customer service from DMH. I had no receipt. I had no proof of purchase. I, the, I've owned the thing for, you know, since 06 or 08. I can't remember exactly when it was. And, um, you know, they took care of me. So I'm going to test it real quick um, since I have my power supply here. Um, I have not I have not tested it yet. I did open the box, but I did not uh, I didn't test it. So see what she does that's closed right, here we go nice looks like it works yeah that definitely doesn't look like the same plate or anything it looks like they Looks like they changed some things, maybe. Does seem a little, um... I don't know. Who knows? Looked like it might have been a little slower, but whatever. Point being is, um, uh, they took care of me, uh, quite well. Um, this will go back on the car. Um, uh, this video's gonna be, you know, I think I, I think there's like eight segments on my on my phone here so I'm going to splice it together and cut some crap out. Uh, it's going to be long enough as it is but maybe I'll take a video of it on the car functioning again. Um, you know uh, it's daylight savings now so I really have no daylight when I get home from work but then again this doesn't take long to slap on so I might uh, I might get to it. If nothing else I'll probably get to it this weekend. I'll throw it on there uh, even though the season is almost over for driving that car. So there you have it. DMH guys, this is a good cutout. Um, the cutout itself did not fail. It was the bearings that took a took a dump. So um, they they told me that they've since revised the bearings. I believe they're bushings now, uh, impregnated bronze bushings. So good call on their part. They took care of me. 
Got my cutout back. We'll see how she works.